I'm really excited to let you know that I'm gonna be uploading a number of routing hacking videos. I'm gonna show you how you can use simple Python scripts with Scapy to hack routing protocols. In this first video, I'm gonna show you how to hack EIGRP, which is a routing protocol used by Cisco routers. If you're interested, I'll show you how to hack routing protocols such as OSPF and hopefully BGP. Routing protocols are really important in networks. You need to secure them, otherwise it's very, very easy to hack them. Now it's taken me a long time to put these videos together, but hopefully the scripts that I've created will make it much easier for you. Now, if you enjoy these types of hacking videos, if you enjoy watching me create simple Python scripts, teach you how to use Python, teach you how to hack networks, then please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Please like this video and click on the bell to get notifications. I'm actually gonna create fake routes, send fake packets to an EIGRP router and get that router to add the routes to its routing table. For this demonstration, I'm using a real physical Cisco router. It's actually the router that I use in my home network to connect me to the internet. So I'm gonna create fake routes on a Kali virtual machine, use Python to send those packets into the network and get that router to add those routes to its routing table. And I'm gonna run a denial of service attack. So basically, I'm gonna tell the router that to get to various websites and you could decide which websites you wanna inject routes for. But in my example, it's gonna be cisco.com and facebook.com. The router needs to send the traffic to a neighboring EIGRP router. That router doesn't know how to get to the internet. So it's gonna basically drop the packets. I'm gonna run a denial of service attack by creating a black hole by sending fake routes to an EIGRP router. There have been incidents in the past where certain ISPs have injected more specific routes into the global internet routing table and caused certain websites to be taken offline. Basically DOS, uh, YouTube as an example. Now as always, don't use the information that I'm sharing here for non-ethical purposes. Only use what I'm sharing here for ethical purposes. Don't go out there and get into trouble. Make sure that you secure your networks. Make sure that you use authentication and passwords on your routing protocols because otherwise people can do things such as what I'm demonstrating in this video. Okay, so here's my Python script. It's a very simple script. I'm basically importing time. I'm gonna import Scapy. Scapy is installed by default on Kali Linux, so you don't have to install it. I've put commands below this video if you wanna know how to install Scapy on an Ubuntu machine as an example. I'm loading EIGRP. I've created a loop. I'm gonna send a whole bunch of packets into the network. Now, this allows me to inject a fake route into the network. You need to create these fake packets correctly or forge these fake packets correctly. So you need to understand a bit about routing protocols to be able to do this. But notice the source IP address is the IP address of the router that's gonna send the fake route. That needs to be a router that already exists in the network. Here's my physical router that gives me internet access. Show version shows you that this is a Cisco router. It's a Cisco 1941 router. Show IP EIGRP neighbors. We have one neighbor relationship. That's a switch in my network. We're going to leverage that neighbor relationship and inject routes as if they came from that neighbor. So therefore in the script, the source IP address is that IP address. Now, if you don't know what those are in a network, you can use Wireshark to capture multicast packets. EIGRP uses this multicast destination address. So that's the destination that we're gonna send packets to. You could use Wireshark once again to capture packets, see which devices are sending advertisements in a network. Now we're gonna send an update message. We are basically gonna update the router with new routes. So we're sending an update for Autonomous System 100. This router is configured in Autonomous System 100. Once again, you could see that information by running a Wireshark capture. Sequence number zero. That's the neighbor relationship here. That needs to be correct. So that's the entry or identifier of the neighbor relationship, which is zero in this example. Now, if you don't know what that is, you could specify a range of sequence numbers. So you could say, try sequence number zero to 30 as an example to try and guess what the sequence number is. So rather than knowing what the sequence number is, you're just guessing a whole range of sequence numbers. So you could do that. But in my example, I know what the sequence number is, so I'm gonna set it to zero. 
Acknowledgement is zero. And what we're gonna do is we're going to insert an internal EIGRP route with this destination, 192.168.100.0. This router currently doesn't have any EIGRP routes in its routing table. We've got a static route, we've got some directly connected routes. There are no EIGRP routes in the routing table at the moment. As you can see there, show IP route EIGRP, no routes, but I'm gonna inject that route into the routing table. Next hop, we're gonna to set to that neighbor. Now I've done something similar here. I've just injected another route. The only difference here is it's 101 rather than 100. Now here is where it gets interesting. Rather than just injecting any random fake routes, we're actually gonna inject a real routes into the routing table. And let me go back to Windows. So here we're going to DOS, Cisco.com and Facebook.com. If you're not sure what those addresses are, you can just do an NS lookup. So I can see that Cisco is using that address in my case. So I'm gonna DOS 72.163.4.0. And then in my case, Facebook is using 157.240.2114 something. You'll need to use NS lookup or just ping one of those addresses to see what it resolves to so that you can attack that network. Here I'm pinging cisco.com, notice 72 dot something. In some cases, you might need to inject multiple routes into the routing table to block those networks. So on my Mac as an example, NS lookup cisco.com because this is the device that I wanna block and facebook.com it resolves to the same IP addresses. So I'm gonna inject fake routes that'll basically DOS my network. I won't be able to connect to those networks once I run my script. So at the moment on my Mac, I can ping cisco.com and I can ping facebook.com. So I can connect to those networks without a problem, but that's because my router simply has a default route to the internet. And some of you may have picked this up already, so I'll just explain this here. I actually have a router in front of my Cisco router that was provided by my ISP. That is my ADSL router. So I've got an ethernet connection from my Cisco router to the service provider router. In this case, it's British Telecom or BT that has ADSL to the internet. But I am running NAT on my Cisco router, so it's as if it's connected to the internet. Change default route. I could inject a default route here. Now, in this example, I'm using an external EIGRP route. So previously, I was injecting internal EIGRP routes. Here I'm injecting an external EIGRP route with the autonomous system number 100 again. Destination is a default route. And notice I've specified other options such as the origin router, prefix length, and various flags such as setting this as a candidate default route. Now in this example, that route won't show in the routing table because a static route has a better preference. But if I type show IP EIGRP topology table, you'll see the default route appear in the topology table. At the moment, it only has this route in the topology table. And then I'll make the script sleep for two seconds and then start the loop again. Okay, but that's enough talking, so let's copy that script into Kali. Kali, in my example, is running within VMware Workstation Player. I have bridged the Kali virtual machine to my wireless network card. So that's the built-in wireless network card on my laptop. I am bridging Kali to that wireless network card. I don't need an external adapter. I'm using the internal built-in adapter and I'm gonna be able to run these attacks. Okay, so nano, let's say EIGRP route inject 1.py. I'll paste that script in. Save the file, Python 3, EIGRP route injection. Before I press enter, notice I can ping facebook.com from my Mac, I can ping cisco.com from my Mac, I'll leave cisco.com pinging, press enter on my script. Okay, I forgot to use sudo. 
I need to use sudo here. So I'll put sudo in front. So sudo python3. I'll run that ping again. Put in my password. And notice straight away, I can't ping cisco.com. It says time to live exceeded. So basically, I've black holed Cisco. What about facebook.com? Also black holed, notice time to live exceeded. And if I open up a web browser and try and go to cisco.com, notice the website is unreachable. And if I try and go to facebook.com, notice website is unreachable. I'm not able to get to Cisco and I'm not able to get to Facebook. I have dosed my network by sending forged packets into the network. If I look at my router, previously it looked like that. Now notice a whole bunch of routes are added to the routing table, including routes for Facebook and Cisco. I've also got a default route that's in the topology table in the IP routing table, show IP route, shows me that I have multiple EIGRP routes. Notice those two, as well as these two. I have essentially dosed my network by creating forged packets, sending them into the network and updating the routing table of a real Cisco router. And I've created a black hole, essentially stopping hosts on my network from accessing websites on the internet. You need to enable authentication on your routers. Make sure that your routers running protocols such as EIGRP, OSPF, or BGP, as an example, have authentication enabled on them. Otherwise, it's very easy for an attacker to create forged routes and add them to the routing tables of routers to create black holes or reroute traffic and run man in the middle attacks. I could forge packets send them into the network and get your routers to send the traffic to me so that I can see the traffic in your network. Be very careful how you configure networks. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Please like this video and click on the bell to get notifications. I'm David Bombal, and I wanna wish you all the very best.